So now to plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Was that Glade? Who had those commercials? Hi, I recently purchased the Diva Ring Light Nebula LED light. And I've been kind of putting it off for a long time getting a ring light because I thought my lighting was okay. But I noticed that there was just a difference between my lighting and other people's lighting. And I figured the ring light was the big difference. So I finally decided to make the investment. And before I did, I did a lot of research. There are a lot of uh, different types of ring lights out there. They can be very inexpensive, close to around like $100, uh, going up to this one, which is one of the more expensive ones. But in the end, I decided this one was worth it, and I'll tell you why, because I've got a whole bunch of different reasons. Now, if this is on your budget, get the less expensive ones. They're really good also. It's just that I kind of only wanted to buy one once. I do travel sometimes. I want to be able to bring this with me and not have to worry about it breaking so much. And actually, I have to say, when I first started my YouTube channel, I did buy one ring light, and it was very inexpensive. It was less than $100, but it came like in a cardboard box. It was like a tube, you know, in a little black you know, ring. And they had like no packaging around it pretty much. It was broken. I returned it and I was like, yeah, forget it. And I tried to figure something else out because at that point I wasn't ready to spend more money on a ring light. So um, I've got some little notes here because I wanted to make sure I, I explained to you, you know, why I really bought this and I didn't want to forget anything. So um, first of all, this one uh, is a all LED light. It has, I believe it's 640 um, little tiny, tiny lights all around it. And the beauty of that is, first off, they aren't um, very uh, breakable. So that means that if I take this somewhere and if, God forbid, a few broke, it would still function. Even if one broke here and one broke there, which hopefully again won't happen, I'd still have plenty of light. And really the LEDs are much more difficult to break. Also what I liked about this one is that it doesn't put off any heat. So I could have the sun all day long and it's not going to change the temperature, um, which is really nice, especially I do a lot of beauty um, tutorials and stuff. And you, know, you just don't want your makeup sweating off. I mean, you don't want to look sweaty in any video you're doing, regardless of probably what you're doing it on. So that was a biggie for me also. One thing I did like though about um, this other one that I was looking at, they had where in the ring there was an area you could actually put a mirror so you could actually look at yourself and it's right underneath the camera so you're not really like looking over at a viewfinder or something. That was kind of cool. This one doesn't have that option, but I figured I could probably always figure out a way to Velcro or do something like that, add it in there. That was one I was very, very tempted to get the other brand um, because of that. But, you know, I, I ended up, because those two were about the same price, but I just decided overall the light and it being LED was worth it to me. The price of this one is $399, and um, I was looking at it at, on Amazon, and I bought it from the exact same place that you know Amazon had it for and I have Prime but I was talking to their salespeople they're super super helpful and give me lots of information so I ended up actually they were really nice and honored the Prime free shipping for me and so I ordered it directly from them that was the DVE store and uh, they did free shipping for me because I said hey I've got Amazon Prime I can buy it that way and my awesome awesome sales guy uh, you know went ahead and did that for me which was very very nice um, Oh, and then also, if you guys need a stand for it, I didn't because um, you can mount this onto uh, your tripod, which is awesome. So you don't need to buy a stand, but if you wanted one, that is an additional $30 for a six foot light stand. I didn't buy that. Um, you can also get like a mini desk tripod, which isn't even available right now. It's on back order, and that is like $55. If you want that, I don't have that either. And then um, they sell a tripod if you don't have one for like $70, which is actually about the exact same one that I already happen to have. Um, we got it with when I got my camera. And um, what you receive when you buy this for $399 is obviously the ring light. And then there's like a cloth that goes over it to diffuse it. You don't need to use that, but I generally do. I think it just makes the lighting a little bit nicer. Oh, and by the way, I will go ahead and I'm gonna turn the ring light off and let you see what it looks like with my old lighting. Then I'll turn off all of the lighting and then we'll just do the ring light and you can see, just to give you kind of an idea of the difference, you know, that the lighting can make. Um, it also comes with a gooseneck attachment. Um, because I'm using my tripod, I'm uh, not using that, but there is another attachment that you could use so you could bend it and do different things with it on the light stand. So I have that, it came with it, but I'm not using it. Um, it also comes with a Z bracket for mounting on the tripod, and you're gonna get to watch me at the end of this video when I bought this. I actually live streamed myself putting it together. Yes, me, without my husband helping me. I'm terrible at following anything 
mechanical for directions. I can cook anything from recipes or I can even cook things like from tasting them. That's kind of like my thing, but man, putting things together from directions on paper. If someone shows me I can do it, but oh, I'm just lame at that. But I did it. I was able to do it by myself. Well, my daughter went and grabbed me a screwdriver at one point, but you know, pretty much for myself. Nobody actually assisted me with it. Um, I live streamed it. It was pretty funny. And then you have a one-year manufacturer's warranty. And what they say about this is that it is the perfect studio and field edition for photographers and videographers. The professional quality LED ring light provides a soft, nearly shadowless illumination. Oh, and it's dimmable. That was the other big thing. It's dimmable. It's dimmable all the way down. In fact, here, let me just reach over and we'll, we'll dim it for a minute so you can see it's going all the way down. It goes down like 25% and then it's off. So right now, hey, let's just do this right now. I've got my regular lighting and the ring light is off. So this is like the lighting I had. It's dark outside right now, so there's no natural light coming in this room at all. And then look at look at how nicely you can light it up. Light it up, 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 up. So there we are on full blast, right? And I'm sure my camera's kind of adjusting, <laughs> messing with the light. Um, so I love the dimmability. I thought that was fantastic. And there's also an on-off switch. Whoops, wrong side. Let me just get that. So you could just completely turn it off. So there it is. That's what my lighting would have been like if I was shooting, you know, just on a, at nighttime with my regular lighting on. So um, let's turn this back on again. What a difference, right? I mean, and, and the beauty of it is, is that if you want to, you know, adjust the light, you just want a little bit less, you want a softer look, you can, you can do that. So here we go again, all the way down and all the way up. All right, and I'll turn off the lights in a second too, and I'll do that again. Or should we just do it now? We'll do it now. Be right back. Okay, I'm in a pitch dark room right now. I've turned off the overhead light. I've turned off my little side lights that I have. Um, I've turned off my the little side lights are just table lamps. I've turned off my actual lighting I have on my left and right, and then I have one additional light that I have going right here right now on the side normally. They're all off. This is just the ring light. So we will go ahead and turn it off, and you will see we're in the pitch dark. So there we are, but let's turn that back on. <laughs> so there we go. And then let me go ahead and dim it. So I mean, you can see that's, that's pretty darn good, right? And let's go ahead and dim so you can see, you know, the different effects you can get. If you wanted to just do something softer or more moody, and then I'm like, you're about to lose me here. So that's, that's okay, this is dimmed all the way. My camera is adjusted, this is down to 25%. And then let's give this a bit of a twist. Let's let it adjust for a minute. So it's throwing really good light. I've never tried this before in the dark like this. Let's try it again. Let's go all the way up. Let's give it a moment to adjust. Let's see. So that's all the way up. So let me turn the lights back on. All right, I'm back. All the lights are back on. So I hope that that kind of helped you see what it is like with the ring light if that's all that you had. Imagine that with natural light. I think that would be plenty if that is, you know, all that you want to invest in is one type of a light. I mean, that would have been great. I mean, if I were starting completely over again, I think what I'd probably do is just get this ring light. Um, and then I can show you my other lighting. If you want to um, have me do that in a different one, it's really cheap, something from Target that I'm using on my right and left. And I just got an additional item uh, that is over on my side here that I'm using for the first time actually tonight as I film. Oh, and by the way, this light is 18 inch diameter. So uh, in case you're wondering about that, and they say that it's a uh, circular black hard plastic housing with a reflective white interior to help um, increase the light output. And it's 15% brighter than the Nova fluorescent models. Bulb life is approximately 100,000 hours, so you never have to really <laughs> worry about it for quite a while once you buy one of these. Now the only bummer is there is no carrying case for this yet, so for now they're saying just use the box that it comes, and it does have a handle, and that works. We actually took this to Los Angeles when I went to Generation Beauty, and um, you know, I really, really do like uh, you know that you can easily just throw it in this little box and take it. It would be nicer when it has a carrying case because in that box, I do have to take that kind of that bracket thing off of the back. But again, it's a screwdriver. It's like two minutes. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Apparently my phone thinks I said something. 
So um, the only thing I would say is that if you're going to take it with you, make sure you bring a Ziploc bag because there are two screws that you're going to need to bring with you and a little screwdriver. So if you travel with that, I bring that. The DVD store where I purchased this is super, super helpful. I would totally recommend talking to them uh, if you have really technical questions. Um, like there's a battery adapter you can buy if you want to, you know, if you don't ever plug this and you want to take it, but I think that's like three or four hundred dollars. But there is a way to like take this with you where there is no power plug and use it. So that kind of thing that they could probably you know, set you down the path of where to get that because they have a, you know, a huge selection of all different stuff that they sell there. So let's go ahead and take a look at what unpacking it and putting it together was like. And I live streamed this, so this was totally candid, me just trying to do it. Hey everybody, I got a new ring light and I was going to share the joy of trying to set it up with you guys. So um, it's gonna be kind of harder to read comments, but I'll try to pop over and read them once in a while. And welcome if you're watching on replay. I ordered this from DVE store instead of on Amazon. Um, the price was the same, and then they matched the prime shipping for me. And I did some research, and it was between this and the Prismatic. And I ended up going with this uh, Nebula by Diva because it had the highest amounts. Hi, Christina, hi, Debbie. Um, I got this one because it had the highest amount of little LED lights. So if you were gonna travel, whoa, and have anything go wrong, your light would still work. Um, it was lightweight. It, um, it supposedly works beautifully. So if you're gonna bite the bullet one time and buy kind of the highest end one, and I didn't see much on YouTube about it, so I kind of thought I would share. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining. Hey, sorry I'm so far away that I can't, I'm trying to look at the, the uh, comments as much as I can. So um, we're gonna do this together because I have no idea, but supposedly it's easy. Oh, and the other plus side, you guys, to this one is that it comes with some stuff that the other ones don't. Like the prismatic one, you needed to get a heavier duty little extra piece that cost money to hold your camera if you had a heavier camera. Um, the one plus of the prismatic is that in your ring light, the bottom, you can put a mirror so you can see yourself the whole time. But that one, I do some cooking videos, you can't completely flip it down. It, it doesn't, or you can't pan it, you know, if you're doing any movement shots. So that's another reason I got this one. Um, the people at DVE store were fantastic. And I bought this with my own money, this is not promoted, but honestly, I was gonna like kind of figure this out on Amazon and they were so helpful. So this is what it looks like in the box. And it comes with, anyways, I'll look at comments later on. Hi, sorry, I'm so far away, it's hard to read them. Um, and then a little one pager, so it looks like easy assembly. And what I really like too is I ordered a part that hopefully is in here that will hold my phone. So if I live stream and I was doing makeup, I can have my phone in the middle of the ring light too. So this is it. Let's take it. Let me tilt the camera down a little bit here so we can see this a little better. So just take all the foam bits off. Hey, Danielle. That's my daughter coming up. You're coming, boys. <laughs> Um, okay, there's pieces in here, so we'll put this together together. If I get stuck, maybe you can help me. Oh, also, you guys, the difference between this one and the um, prismatic, this has, this is a fabric cover, whereas the other one has plates. And for me, honestly, I thought this might be better because a plate I could break. And so those are all the little um, LEDs, and there's 640 of them. And that has the most of any of the ring lights that are out right now. So that's this part of it. This is not power cord. I can't wait to do my first actual video with it after this. Hi, thanks for joining. I'm down here. <laughs> okay, so let's get all the pieces out and then we'll try to put this together. I'm really lame at assembling stuff, so hopefully my husband will be home in a while, so if I get totally stuck. Oh, and I think this must be to hold my phone. So this was like $5, so I could hold my phone with it. And hopefully this is big enough to hold my phone. Looks kind of small. I've got kind of a big phone. Oh yeah, it stretches out. Okay, well that's it. These are all the pieces, so that's not too bad. So let's see if we can do it. And then we'll demonstrate and see how much better hopefully I look with it. Okay, so let's see what we have to do here. If I could undo the twist ties. Hope you guys are all having a good day. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday the 13th. There was a little thing on Instagram today where it said like, click this little thing for good luck. So I clicked it. So it's a good day. But um, so if you guys compare, there are definitely lower priced ones that people are really happy with. Um, 
but I waited so long. You guys can't believe what I've been filming with. You guys will totally laugh. You're gonna totally crack up. Here, wait, I'll show you, because I've got one of these pointed at me right now. I got these natural light things, and look. Can, wait, can you see that? That's what I use. I mean, they're special bulbs, but totally, totally lame. Hey, Kristen. So, let me see what I have to do. Okay. Do not remove the center screw on ring light. Okay. Do not attach the Z bracket and ring light to the stand. Do not attach. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do? Okay. Do I need a screwdriver? Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Ring light assembly. Attaching the ring light and Z bracket to tripod. I'll, I'll show you if, I, if you can see this. Um, so, I guess I start with this thing. No, that's not it. Oh, here it is. Sorry, guys. Get more organized. Oh, that's really so funny. You can hear and see who's in on here. Oh, hey, Denny, my daughter. <laughs> that's too funny. Okay. She can attest to that I'm bad at putting things together. Like, seriously, I want to have trouble with a shower curtain. I can cook anything by tasting it, but I just can't put things together. Okay, so now I will... Okay, so that looks like it's the front of it, right? Um, camera bracket to the Z bracket. Attaching the ring. Okay. Oh, God, I'm so bad at this. Am I supposed to be doing this to my... Oh, I think I'm supposed to be doing this on my, my tripod. Okay. All right, let's tilt back up again. Okay. Oh, and I had this tripod, and luckily it's the type of tripod they said was really good for it. Okay, so first, let's drop this thing down. Okay, come on. Get short. There. Okay, so I'm going to, I guess, put this on here. Oh, here. Wait. Okay. I guess just like you would your camera. Okay, I'll take this off. This is the kind. By the way, this um, is the one that they recommended. It has this pop-off thing, which is lovely for your phone, this little part. Um, but the only bummer is my phone, that's where the battery thing is, so you can't really take your battery out or change anything like that by just popping off. So I'm gonna screw that onto here, assuming this is how this works. Nice and tight, so that's just got a little thing on the bottom. It's true, I'm not good at it. Yeah, you're so right. And then this just pops in here with a little lever. Okay. Wait, look, they want it this way. That seems to hold better. Or maybe not. Okay, I need. What? Um, the dishwasher clean the dishwasher, yeah, it's clean. I don't think anyone emptied it out, and it'd be great if you put it in the dishwasher. In okay, the you guys, I'm failing. In at the this. dishwasher. I mean, put it in the refrigerator. Okay, why does this not work, Danielle? Are you good at setting stuff up? Yeah. Oh wait, so this thing adjusts. Maybe if I push that out of the way. So guys, if you're doing this, this thing like slides up and down. So if you push that out of the way, maybe it'll work better. Let's see. Yes, success. Okay, I got that part on. So, this attached on like that. Okay, now what do I do? Then, attach the ring light and gooseneck to the light stand. Okay, so, am I supposed to now do not remove center screw? Okay, so how does it screw in? Okay, because in their picture, it looks like this goes here, but how does that attach? That can't be right. Oh, must be this way? No. I'm failing. Hi, good evening, Danielle. Danielle Shepard, my daughter's watching too, I think. Um, okay, boy. I wish they had a little video explaining how to do this. Um, oh, attaching goose stick to ring light. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I see. Okay, so they've got a little picture here. I'm assuming, okay, this now we have to attach to this. So there must be screws. Okay. I didn't see any screws, though. Did you guys see any screws when I opened it? Um, oh, I see. Maybe something twists in from, there's got to be screws. Wait, that little package wasn't from here. Oh my God, I'm so sad. Okay, let me look through all my, my trash here. Yeah, this is so much fun. <laughs> Not. Usually they have a thing that shows all the stuff that's supposed to come with. But this doesn't. Hmm. Yeah, it shows little screws. <sighs> okay, then. Um, wait, I will check. Oh, look. Key learning. There's a little tiny hole here. There are the screws. Yay. Thank you. Oh, can you bring it over? Thank you, sweetie. You can have a screwdriver. Hey, Dan, look at you're you're good at this stuff. Doesn't this look like I could put the put this on here first? Can you, hold this? Where? can you hold this? I'm gonna screw right into this. Okay. Mm, I don't want to be in this. Oh, well, you're only your arms in it. My hands look weird. <laughs> no, I don't. I believe your hands. Here. No, you don't. Okay. Right, I'm gonna try this. Oh, whoops, this is on the wrong side. Nice cow. This guy just opened the door. He did. He just opened the closet. Just Let's opened see, it. This this space. He lifted it for one second with two hands. All right, there. Okay, now put it down. Okay, I just want to make sure. There, I came in the area of this. Who needs two hands when you have one? Is it maybe easier if I laid it down? Oh, 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 it's parking. Yes. Tell the girl. Okay. No, don't let go. <laughs> I gotta get to the other side. Ha! Success. I'm so proud of myself. My hands are like clean. Okay. It's big pizza. Oh, it's okay. Oh, don't touch the fabric. <laughs> you're good, you're good. I checked. Okay. On it. All right. But I think the screws are the same. Of course, you get the diva light. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what, though? We have one. Keep it lined up. Who's here? Store. Hello. Wait. Hang on, look at this. Okay, now the screw's getting stuck. Okay, ow. <laughs> I bonk my head. You can just call me Grace. Okay, what am I... There, okay. Hold it like this if you don't mind. Oh, do you still need me? Just for a sec. Take my room and my freedom. For like, what, an hour every two weeks? Oh, this will be a good time to tell you. I'm getting a double helix and I get my ears pierced. I don't even know Because you're on camera. Means. I don't even know what that means. You'll be nice to me. No, I don't want you to get all these crazy pieces. No, it's only two. It's Daniel, can you turn that light off? For some reason, it's super like bright. It's, it's uh, why is that all of a sudden? Okay, thank you. Okay. okay, later. Danielle's turning eighteen, and she wants to get all kinds of piercings. So people no. are saying hi to you. Hey, Susan. Hi. Okay, now where that paper? No, no, not all kinds of piercings. Well, double like I was okay with, but um, okay. So let's just see if this will work. Oops, I've got no battery in it right now, but let's see. Okay. Hey, it's working. Look at that, you guys. Ha! Huh. And then this is adjustable on the back. I might not need it. Yeah, I think I might not. So I think if I just, I somehow got this to move. Yes, I could raise it or lower it or whatever. Oh, and then, let's see. All right, oh, and this is what they're talking about, that I could totally like have all this range of motion and that it's adjustable. Interesting, okay then. So that is set up. So let's plug it in. I'm just kind of wondering then, oh, I guess if I wanna do my phone. Oh, okay guys, so the way this works, I just figured it out. Yeah, I'll keep it. Good idea. Definitely. <laughs> so I think if I just take my camera off, I could just screw this in and then this will, you know, over time be easier to stretch. We'll hold my phone so I could live stream using this too. All right. So now to plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Was that Glade? Who had those commercials? Okay. Let's see. I'm so excited. This is actually working. Okay. But wait. Okay. So the power goes here. Think. Yep. 
And then there's some sort of other connector here. I don't know what that's for. It doesn't say. They don't have very good instructions. So let me plug this in. All right, now I turn it on. Oh, here. <laughs> you guys are suffering with me. Ta-da! Oh, the other reason I got this, it can dim. Hi, Grayson. Um, this can dim from zero to 100%. The other one would only go 80 to 100%. And I wanted the flexibility because you might not always want very much. So that's the low. And that goes all the way to that. Blinding. Okay, so I'm going to take you guys out of this. And then we'll look at the before and after. God, I'm going blind from looking at this. Whoa. Oh, and this also doesn't get hot because it's all like LED. So I'm going to put you guys there. Now I'm like sweaty and stuff. <laughs> and let's see, let, let the phone adjust. Wait, let me put it like there. Okay, so that's probably where we go. Let me turn off the other lights. I think those are distracting. Hold on a sec, you guys. All right. Okay, so now it's nighttime. I'm, there's no windows or anything where I am. And I will turn it off. And this is the iPhone 7. And then here it is on. And that is way too bright. Okay, wait, look how bright it goes, you guys. I look like I'm a creature. Okay. Let me like stand up a little bit there. Okay. All right, and then I can dim it. Oops, my finger, sorry. So there we go. So I'll have to put it into my regular filming area to see, but no, I lost my control. There we go. But how weird. I think the iPhone is totally adjusting for this because I don't see it changing. Do you guys see it changing very much the way it looks on my face? Like there I do. There, that looks about right. Yeah, so there it is. So I hope this video was helpful for you. When I was looking at buying this, I couldn't find a lot of videos about this actual ring light. Not a lot of detail. That's why actually I have to say that the people at the um, beauty store where I purchased this were so, so helpful because I was like, do I want this one or do I want that one? And I was telling them what I wanted it for and what I was doing and that I would travel with it sometimes. And that's how I narrowed down to this. So hopefully this video makes it a little bit easier for you. If you have any other questions, do feel free to ask below. Go ahead and subscribe in case you haven't. Um, I do have these kind of videos once in a while about lighting and stuff. I did one of these little, um, little lights that you can attach, like a Lumi light or a little ring light you can attach to your phone that um, seems to have been pretty popular that people have liked, so that might be one. You also want to look at her portable lighting to take with you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or evening wherever you are.